from Franco Girolami. He was nearly in tears. He was so frustrated with himself to lose out on that victory. And now we're going to go on to the final lap and there is going to be an opportunity for the Spaniard to do it again. Has the momentum, has the slipstream. Girolami darting left, right, sticking to the middle of the road here. He knows, or he should know, that Ashkona will not be too aggressive. She doesn't need to be too aggressive for the championship. It's been an incredible drive from seventh position already. Oh, Franco's left the inside line open. And now they go side by side, a little bit of kissing. There's no need for any kissing. That's going to give momentum, surely, to Ashkena. Surely there's going to be enough of an advantage. More contact between the two of them into the breaking zone at the second chicane, and Girolami holds on. It's not over yet, though, but uh, that's going to kind of ruffle Ashkona. It will be mistrusting of what uh, Girolami is doing because there's no need to have the squeeze on like that, but uh, we know that Girolami is desperate, desperate to hold on, desperate for this championship. Any points will matter, and if they can compromise the speed, perhaps Coronel can come to play again. Is there an opportunity into the Ascari chicane? We've got a yellow, uh, white flag out for Banani, who's sitting on the racing line here. This is horrible for Girolami. Just about gets out of the way, and perhaps that was enough to allow Girolami to hold on, because there wasn't any chance to overtake as uh, Banani was there. Girolami hugging the white line as uh, Mehdi Banani takes to the gravel to get out of the way. There is no space on the inside line for Mikhail Ashkona, who goes to the outside line now. He's going to try and go all the way around the outside of the Parogabolica. Surely this is not going to work. A little bit of a squeeze between the two of them, and that is good driving from Franco Girolami, and it's good enough to give him the victory here. Race one in Monza and keep the championship alive. A huge fight from him. And relief from PSS. Over the line in third position, Tom Coronel, and coming across the line with a blown tyre. One lap down, Mehdi Banani. I don't know why he didn't go into the pits. He probably couldn't go into the pits. Might have been safer for him to stay out. The PSS have done it, where brutal fish have failed and tripped over. Yas are represented by PSS and Franco Girolami holding on in the end ahead of Ashkona. I was just worried that that contact at the end there could be fatal between the two of them, but uh, thankfully they survive to the end of the race. But what action all the way through the field, whether we were talking about first and second or 15th and 16th, they all provided a wonderful, wonderful show. And Sebastian Loeb Racing really, really.